update here we do have a tweet courtesy of TMZ saying Justin Timberlake gets license suspended at DWI hearing judge threatens gag order and that comes after the judge all came down on Timberlake's attorney Edward Burke Jr. for making comments to the media that the judge called an quote attempt to poison the case that's when the judge threatened him with the gag order we did hear some comments from Timberlake's attorney right after that hearing I'd like to play those out for you next Hi, everybody. I'm not going to have any comment after today's proceeding. The case is going to be put over to August 9th, as you heard. Uh, we're going to be filing motions, and we're going to let the content of those motions and the arguments contained therein uh, speak for themselves. So really, that's uh, all I have to say. I have no comment. I won't be able to answer any other questions. I hope you understand. But we'll be back next week. And Mr. Burke, Thank you. the judge did say he wanted your client to appear in person in September? Not necessarily, no. Not, not, not necessarily. We're going to have a conference on, on the 9th. We're waiting for the prosecution to uh, certify discovery, complete their obligations, and then we'll take it from there. And okay, guys? I will at a, at a later time, okay? It was just simply procedural today. And I thank everybody. And we are maintaining. Thank you, guys. And it's one count of DWI. Correct. Uh, and Sorry, I'm confused about September 13th. What is that court That hearing? might be a potential date for... Um, it's a tentative a, court date? A tentative court date. This court does not meet every day or every week. Okay. They have uh, uh, once or twice a month, certainly uh, during the summer it's a little bit more. So they're anticipating future dates moving forward. So depending Come on what happens, August 9th. Okay. Just, just for, like, just so that we know planning purposes, why is it depending on what happens August 9th, there may or may not be a September 13th hearing scheduled for August 9th? Correct. Okay, great. And All right, we'll keep everybody posted. Is that automatic? That's, yeah, that's standard with every uh, DWI case. And how many months is that standard? It, it stays uh, during the pendency of the case, oh. uh, suspension at the MP. Only in New York? Uh, other states have that as well. No, it's right Oh, yes, in New, in New York, that's correct. So you can still drive in That's right. But his license is from Tennessee. Correct, so okay. it's an out-of-state. New York, can't drive. That's right. So he's not allowed to drive in New York. Correct. Correct. So he might issue a gag order against you? What do you think about that? No, I don't see that happening, guys. Um, hey, uh, we all have jobs to do, and we're uh, uh, obligated to zealously defend our clients, and that's what I plan on doing. Well, Thank you, guys. All right, listening there to some short comments from Justin Timberlake's attorney, and I did want to pop up this a tweet once again from TMZ while I read out some more on what we know pending this case for the pop star. So a tentative court date of September 13th has been scheduled for Timberlake to appear. Last week, the judge decided that Timberlake would be virtually arraigned while he continued his Forget Tomorrow World Tour in Europe. Timberlake's attorney Edward Berg says the pop star was not intoxicated at the time of the arrest and that he's confident the charges will be dropped. However, court documents obtained by Fox 5 in New York say that Timberlake blew a stop sign and failed to keep to the right of the road in the early morning hours of June 18th. Those were some of the details that we heard from Jessica Formoso's, Formoso's a reporter story just moments ago. Uh, a little bit on the timeline of Justin Timberlake's arrest. So video from Hamptons.com shows Timberlake's SUV cruising down Sag Harbor Street shortly before his arrest. The pop star was pulled over by an officer driving a 2025 BMW UT with Florida license plates at Madison Street and Germain Avenue in Sag Harbor, a small village about 100 miles east of New York City. Timberlake was charged with driving while intoxicated, according to sources and police records. Timberlake handed over his Tennessee driver's license and, according to court papers, was visibly intoxicated with bloodshot eyes, a strong smell of alcohol, and performed poorly on his field sobriety test. He refused to take a chemical test. According to TMZ, Timberlake's friends allegedly asked officers to cut the pop star a break, but the officers refused. TMZ also says there's body camera video of the incident, but it's unclear at this point if it will be released. Timberlake pleaded not guilty to driving while intoxicated and was released without bail. 
the consequences for being convicted of violating the laws against driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs or DWI in the state of New York can include a suspended or revoked driver's license, monetary fines, and even a potential jail sentence. Uh, let's give you a live look once again out in New York City. This is of the Empire State Building just past 7 o'clock in the evening over there on the East Coast. And you can see it is very stormy, very rainy from this vantage point, at least, that we have in NYC. We're going to step away for our first commercial break of the hour. Many more top headlines next. Thank you. 